Let's get a check of our weather now with Krista. Hey, good morning. It's a foggy start out there, but otherwise we are quiet. This is the view out at Connor Prairie. You can see here off in the distance that foggy scene. Many areas are seeing fog even denser than what we're seeing out here. It's not too bad out at Connor Prairie, but as we get to areas farther north up towards Kokomo, that visibility this morning is less than a tenth of a mile. Marion at a half a mile and Frankfurt. That visibility has actually come up from about a tenth of a mile now to one mile visibility. Seeing some issues around Zionsville as well at a third of mile visibility and even Eagle Creek a little closer to Indianapolis. Well, in Indianapolis, we're seeing that visibility at two miles. So around central Indiana, we have some of that thick fog. A dense fog advisory is off in our far northeastern counties of Miami, Grant and Blackford County. That goes until 9 a.m. So over the next couple of hours, we're going to see these numbers fluctuating. What I'd recommend for you is heading out the door this morning. Make sure you allow yourself a few extra minutes to be able to take it a little slower so you can get through that fog safely. We're quiet though. We're dry out there as those showers and storms from yesterday have pushed well off to our south and east after leaving numerous storm reports out there from tree limbs down heavy rainfall and you can see all of the hail reports in there too. Even this hail report out in Claremont from yesterday of a hailstone at two inches. That's about the size of a hen egg. So large hail from yesterday's storms, but as that front moved on through through, it's really helped clear out our air. We had very poor air quality yesterday. This morning, the latest update puts all of the state either in the green or the yellow category, so it's not perfect, but we aren't in those unhealthy ranges, so it is much improved from where we were yesterday. I am still expecting to see hazy skies out there as that smoke will be lingering in the upper levels of the atmosphere, but here at the surface, our air quality is much better, and I actually expect it to continue to improve as we head on into this afternoon. Temperatures are in the mid 60s right now, 64 in Indianapolis. We're at 59 in Kokomo and 65 in Bloomington. These dew point temperatures have come down quite a bit too. We're still riding that line where it's noticeable or a little uncomfortable, especially off in our southern counties, but they're down about five to eight degrees cooler from this time yesterday, and that makes a big difference on just how humid it feels outside with that change in the dew point temperature. Get your taste of it now because we are going to turn much more humid into the coming days. So today is going to be relatively comfortable, hazy sunshine and a few storms on into the afternoon. Temperatures upper 70s and lower 80s. Future view wants to bring in a few spotty showers during the morning hours. I think that is overdone. I'm not expecting to see rainfall during the morning, but I do think we'll see some more storms as we get into the afternoon, primarily past two o'clock. And I say your more favored location for that is close to the I-70 corridor and south where some of these storms Storms could be on the stronger, maybe even severe side with a damaging wind threat and hail contained within those storms too. We'll continue those on through the mid late evening hours. And while the main severe weather threat has been pushed well off to the south and west of central Indiana, and I'd say about the southern half of the state still has that chance to see a couple of those stronger storms in there too. So another weather aware day will keep storm chances around Wednesday and Thursday. But on top of storms, we're really going to be seeing that humidity spike. Those dew point temperatures rise in a big way and into Thursday even more so. Wednesday and Thursday they are going to be very uncomfortably humid days, but then we'll start to get a break. Everything will ease as we get into Friday. We'll start to dry that air out. We'll bring back some sunshine. The weekend is looking fantastic. Dry conditions and more seasonal temperatures.